<laughs> I'm just gonna win it. Hi, my name's Diamond. Um, I'm a student nurse at the University of Southern Mississippi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So, um, can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? Callie Douglas, 12, 1997. Okay, so you look as if you have good appearance. You're, um, you look your apparent age. So today we're just gonna be doing a general health survey. So I'm just taking your vital signs, pain assessment, skin, hair, nails, eyes, and nose, and throat. Okay. So um, first, you look clean, uh, good posture, you're awake, alert, and oriented times three. Um, you you look like you have an overall good general health. So first, I'm going to take your pulse oximetry. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take your temperature. So we don't have any probes, so I'm just going to stimulate this. Okay, so your temperature is 98.8, which is the normal range. Your pulse ox is 98, which is also normal. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take your pulse and respirations. Okay. Can you turn it on more? Um, I want to just go ahead and do this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so your pulse was, was six, 72 and your respirations were 16 breaths per minute. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do your blood pressure. Do you mind if I do it on your right arm? That's perfectly no. fine. Okay, so let's just get out of this room. Um, did you have any pain today or did you just come in for a general um I'm just coming in for a general checkup. Yeah, I come once a year. This should be relatively painless. If you feel any discomfort or pain, just go ahead and let me know. I'll stop okay. the procedure. Okay, so your blood pressure is 118 over 70, which is then which is within normal range for your age. Great. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my general assessment. So I'm gonna begin with your skin. So I'm just gonna inspect the skin for um, temperature. Um, it looks to be apparent, but you don't have to see any um, discoloration, any odor, it looks clean. Um, have you had any problems with um, bruising or wounds that aren't healing? No, ma'am. No? Okay, so I'm gonna just test for skin turgor. I'm gonna check in her hand since she's young. I see no tempting. If she was older, I would check her um, clavicle area. I'm gonna go ahead and assess her nails now. Check the texture. Texture is good. And I'm checking for a capillary refill. And they're refilling when less than three seconds. Um, they're clean in color. Um, everything looks very good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assess the um, hair. So for the hair, I'm just gonna check for any lesions, um, masses, bumps. Have you had any head trauma? No, ma'am. No? Okay. So I'm also checking the hair for any um, masses, any hair loss, or any discoloration that would make me think that there was any kind of um, underlying disease. Everything looks good and normal. Okay. Great to hear. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just check your neck. So I'm going to um, assess, palpate for your lymph nodes first. I'm going to go ahead and fill for your thymus right here. Can I get you to swallow for me, please? Okay, and swallow one more time. Okay, so I feel um, everything feels good. I don't feel any masses or anything bulging out, which is indicating that I there's no um, underlying diseases. Great. So next I'm going to... Um, next I'm just going to go ahead and check for your eyes. Okay, so, not your eyes, your ears. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check for a little up and out. So I see no um, redness inside there, no swelling, no inflammation. Her tampanic membrane is a nice pearly white color. 
So I'm gonna assess her hearing now. So this is called our tuning fork. So I'm just gonna tap it, put the vibration against your ears, your forehead and the top of your head. If you hear the sound, let me know. If not, also let me know. Okay. So I hear that, hearing that. So I have no hearing problems. Have you been having any problems with hearing no, or anything no. like that? Any difficulties? Okay, um, that's good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just assess your um your nose. Okay, so go ahead and just look up for me. Okay, everything is white and everything's moist. I see no um discoloration or anything. Everything seems pretty normal. There's a slight deviation, so I would just tell her primary health provide health care provider. I'm gonna go ahead and um, check your eyes now. Give me a little bit of a bright light. Just go ahead and just look at my nose for me, please. And right now I'm just checking for pupil dilation. I'm just making sure that the pupils dilate at the same time. And they are. So everything seems pretty normal. Now I'm gonna have you go ahead and just open your mouth. Say, ah. Uh, I'm checking for teeth, her um, orthophonics, her hard palate, her tongue, everything looks normal. It's moist, um, it's red. I see no white splotches indicating any disease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just check her eyes. So can I get you to just look down for me? Her everything looks pink, which means that's good for hydration. Her sclera is a nice white color, so I see no redness, the so yellow indicating jaundice. Um, everything, her face is symmetrical. Her nose, her mouth, and her um, her neck, everything is um, midline. So her ears, um, let me just go ahead and palpate your ears real quick. I feel, have you had any tenderness in your ears? No. I'm gonna palpate your head too. Have you um, any lesions or any pain here? No. Migraines? No? Okay. So, um, did you have any other questions for me? No, ma'am, but thanks so much for being so friendly. Thank you. I hope you have a great day. Yes, Douglas. thank you. Okay, I'm just going to gel out, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, you too.